is about a 1993 R-Skit Cub. The one and only ever built by Kemp Michael that I know of. And you hit it from right here. Wind's coming this way. Go for it. Yeah, I think you gotta get back as far as you can. Just don't let it angle up too high. But but you gotta clear the trees unless you do a right turn. So go up and turn right? I, no, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying if you go if you go left, you gotta be weary of the trees. You just don't want to get into a fail position. A, a, a stall. Right. Yeah, you don't want to get in a stall position. Hang on, let me do something one more time. Yeah, I would stand behind it. Let me get a good video of it here. The Piper Cub with the S with the Sato F A56. Looking mighty nice. Rebuilt by Bobby Blankenship, covered by Lee D. Curtis Blackwell. Alan Michael. It's got all our names in it. Let's do it. Force truck sounds good, don't it? Yeah, it does. Is that you? Yeah, bringing it back. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a lot of lift. Oh, do you need some trim down? I got it. How's it doing left to right? It's doing good. I could almost roll it. Uh, I wouldn't do that yet. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, uh, need some expo on the uh, elevator. Uh huh. Hope that wing doesn't fold up. <laughs> I didn't check Bobby's. Uh... Well, I imagine the center of the wing was glued from the from the beginning. All right. It's been sitting in a hot in a hot garage for 15 years. Oh, good. Then it'll be fine. Hot and cold, hot and cold. Piper Cub lives again! Alright, how about a loop? Uh, no. Alright, how about a spiral dive to the ground? No, definitely not. How about straight and level flight? Yes. How about a right turn? Uh, it makes me nervous. <laughs> Alright, let's do a left turn. <laughs> and, then let's, and then let's do a right turn. Look at that wingspan. Look at that wind pushing that thing around. You can fly my dad's dog in that plane. That's a right turn. Look at that. Oh, nice. All right. Aileron roll? No. God, no. Absolutely not. Yeah. The first thing that you're ever allowed to do eventually, if you, after you have enough altitude, is a big old loop. But I don't know if that's made for this flight or not. We might better uh, let some other witnesses see it in action next time before you do too much. <laughs> well, why do you say that? Well, I'm the it's just ready. I mean, it's ready to pitch whenever you give it uh, uh, elevator. Come on up here and uh, stand in the spot. Oh, yeah. Hey, you got it. All right. Low pass over the runway. <clears throat> That was nice. I like that. That's just the right altitude.
Wow, that thing looks so wide. Is that, did that motor sound good to you right just then? Yeah, it's kind of sound like it's sputtered a little bit. I can't believe it. I mean, as bad as it was running this morning. Need a bigger prop on it. Yeah. It takes off quickly. That's going to be some pretty footage with the sun shining on it. Yeah, I hope we get it back in one piece. Well, you're welcome to land it at any time. I don't ever want to land it. Is it flying pretty good? I mean... It's flying wonderfully. I got a lot of wind on it. It is susceptible to the wind. Well, it's got so much surface area to pull on it. It looks like a freaking real plane. Ah, oh, it's got braces. Uh, you might better not let it sputter too much. <laughs> I wonder what this uh, dead stick capabilities are. Man, that's got a long wingspan, don't it? Well, just don't stall it. You've learned that. And you might want to cheat. Yeah, just bring it straight down the runway. But not this time. <laughs> You're going to slow it down. And, and another thing is I've learned is, and you have too, is like George is always saying, you got to bring it down at an angle when you land. You don't want it to be nose up coming in but it can be a little bit it's got so much loft it should have no problem sailing in i'm afraid i'm going to overshoot the runway is what i'm afraid oh of. yeah well you might want to do a long a, a low long turn and come in from way off We need to get some numbers for the bottom of it. Doesn't that look cool? You might just do a couple of little practice. Ooh, it's hot. Should have tried to start landing it 10 minutes ago. You're all right. You got plenty of time. You got plenty of fuel in that thing. Just cheat across this field a little bit and do it. Go out farther. Go way out to that green hill. and just follow the hill in a turn. Low and slow. Like from out here. Ooh. Yeah. Just don't get it too close to the sun. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Land it. It's okay. Hey, that didn't hurt anything. It made it up and down. Woo Good job. We'll fly it again and we'll splice in the <laughs>